Hello everybody, welcome back to a, another video. This is going to be a little bit of something different. Um, I'm just kind of currently experimenting with video, see what clicks with me. And recently, I don't enjoy um, commentary gameplay, but more of I I'm more of a storyteller guy. You know, I like telling stories, and that's mas that's mostly what this video is about kind of want to experiment with things so this is going to be the first hopefully many so we'll talk about i guess a few stories it'll be pretty interesting i think to listen to all right um if you guys like this type of video leave a comment down below subscribe and i really appreciate your support let's get on with the video so back when i was younger i used to be, I guess you could say, a really shy kid, and there wasn't much that I could do, but I really loved music back in the day, and because of this, I um, really loved percussion, playing instruments and all that, so I guess you can say my love for music kind of started when I was in like middle school, I think around like fourth grade, I think? And I used to go to the school um, that was, I don't know, it was pretty normal school, honestly. But they had this amazing uh, convenience store right outside the school that sold these, like, kind of uh, ramen packets that you could eat, like dry, like dry crackers, I guess you'd say. And it was so good. Oh, I miss those days. But, uh, anyways, I'll make this story. And so, uh, first year of the school, I decided, hey, you know what, I love music, I'm going to join an after school program where they do music. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, alright, cool, what do they got? Um, at the time, my school didn't have anything like uh, orchestra, a band, or something like that, it, it just had like random clubs. So at first I couldn't find anything, and then I realized there was a percussion club. I'm like, percussion? What's that? <laughs> so, I decided to attend one day, and this, uh, really masculine teacher, I, I forgot what his name was, but he, um, was a drummer, and I think he was Brazilian too, and he brought in these really cool looking drums, I, I forgot what the name of them was, but like, he said some of them had like, was uh crafted with like by hand with oh, goat skin and bamboo wood and i'm like whoa that's so cool and like he would let us play it and everything and it was probably the best day uh my 10 my not like 10 years my seven year old life i've ever seen it was the best day ever right so um I, at that moment i'm like okay this is the club I'm gonna be in. Nothing is gonna change this. And so, for I guess the next year and a half, I stayed in that club. And I wanted to play percussion on those drums that he brought in. But most importantly, I played a the percussion on these bucket drums. I had no idea buckets could be used as instruments. And or like in drums to be more precise and oh my parents did not like it at all and so <laughs> i would go uh go to my house and i would play just non-stop on the buckets like da -da 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 -da. <laughs> it was so loud it had like no rhythm but to me it, it was fine i loved it so one day uh we, there was a talent show going on, and my teacher, uh, the percussion teacher, told me about it, and I'm like, yo, that's sick! So, then, uh, he brought up, like, hey, we can do a club talent show, where our class, or, or the, uh, club that we were in, uh, performs kind of like a beat. Uh, and for the, for the talent show, I'm like, yo, that's sick, let's do that, I'm down. So... To choose who would come up with the teacher, we would, ha we would have a um, 
what I think we call like a percussion off. So everybody in the club, there's like at least like 20 of us, would like play their best beat on the percussion. And and when it finally got to my turn, I'm like, oh my god, I'm sweating, I'm sweating so hard, right? And it's like, okay, I gotta come to it. Okay, keep in mind, I'm like nine years old at this point. So I'm like, okay, I got this. And then just like started off slowly. And then just like, it went off. I just went off. I like hit the floor, hit the side of the drum. I made this really cool beat. I think it's really cool. The teacher really liked it. Everybody was like, yo, that was sick. I'm like, oh, dude, I, at that moment, I felt so proud of myself, and I, I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, I, I gotta win this now, right? So, at the end of the, at the end of the uh, kind of percussion off, me and another student got picked. I was like, oh, yo, no way. <laughs> So, and when that happened, my mind just blown. I, I, I went home that day, I told mom, like, yo, mom, I won, I won. She's like, what, what would you win? I'm like, I won a percussion off, I'm going to be in the talent show. And, like, it was, oh, my, that was the, ha that was the second happiest day of my life. And so, a couple of weeks go by, a few days of practicing. I'm like, okay, all right, we got this, we got this. Day of the talent show, my um, my sticks broke, or and I started crying. I'm like, yo, no, I'm mm. my tears, tears like are coming down from my face. And so the teacher comes up to me and like, it's okay, it's okay. I'm like, no, it's not. I'm practicing all week. Oh, it's all ruined. And I'm never going to forget this moment. My teacher uh, walks away for a second, goes into his bag, and he hands me a new pair of drumsticks. I I start, I, I start, I stop crying. I'm like, what? Are you serious? Like, it was like, like, no joke. Like, these were like professional grade drumsticks. Like, you could feel it in the, in the, in the grip and everything. I think it was like, what? Like... Some sort of, uh, I don't remember. It wasn't wooden, but it was like uh, kind of like a black, like stone almost texture. And uh, it was, uh, it was like, wow, can I, uh, can I have this? And he shook his head, like, yeah, you can have it. Um, I'm like, no, are you serious? And he shook his head again. It's like, yeah, but you, you have to perform your best in the talent show I'm like yeah i got this i got this so uh three minutes after my after uh, that whole incident goes by and it's finally our turn to get on the stage i walk on the stage with my bucket and same with the cla my, my uh, classmate and the teacher he looked at me with this smile on his face that i'd never forget it it was such a big smile like you got this mm. so me and the other guy we sat down in our spots and i gave the cue off i started playing a little beat the teacher joined in and the other student joined in and then uh, the other student made kind of like a little bump uh, to increase the pace. I'm like, okay, all right. And I increased the pace even faster. And the teacher followed, and we just kept at it. And then we made. And after a, a certain pace, I started uh, hitting the the floor to make an extra sound that would kind of resonate with our beat. Oh boy, like and it was just, it was so it was so cool. How what we did, and uh, I even did a couple, couple of <laughs> very cringy moves like uh, flipping the stick and catching it to play the beat, and play the rhythm. Uh, the teacher uh, kind of just followed suit and everything. It, it was it was so good. Uh, memories like these make me uh, really think back on my life and uh, think I I had some I had some good times, you know.
and I guess the kind of uh, moral of the story, even though there really shouldn't be, I'm kind of just doing this uh, for fun, um, is that uh, even if you are down and there are some things that stop you in life, the obstacles, there will always be people to support you. And no matter who that person is, uh, close one, uh, someone who you just met, a teacher, that type of support is something that's so rare nowadays. And I feel not a lot of people are doing it. So if you are watching this video and you're listening to the story, thank you for making it to, the, to this far. And if you have the chance, do something nice to someone. Help out a homeless person. Uh, give your best friend a hug. Just do something nice. And with that, I'll see you guys later. Peace.